My name is James Seaboot. I am a chef and restaurateur here in Oakland. I was born in 1979. I was born in Ubon Ratchitani, in the northeastern part of Thailand, really close to Laos. My parents and I came to America in 1981. We were granted asylum from communists in Laos um, during the secret war. Uh, when we came to America, we landed in Oakland. Actually, we, we stayed in Alameda for like a couple of weeks while a social worker was finding us uh, a, a permanent home. And up finding a permanent home in a, a, a strong Lao community um, on 25th and Telegraph in Oakland. It kind of made us feel like home. A lot of other Lao refugees had the kind of same story. So it was a beautiful thing. So my birth name, Somjit Siabu. James, it's kind of a play on my Lao name. So my personal challenge is when I came here, I'm going through public schools in Oakland, West Oakland, K through 12. I think the biggest challenge is trying to fit in. You know, I had a weird name. I hate to be made fun of. You know, we ate different food. We spoke an unusual language. The question for me was like, where do I fit in? I felt that way all the way through high school, actually until now. The way I got into cooking was, it's really easy. I was raised in a restaurant. My mother got her first job cooking at a Thai restaurant. The American dream was to own your own business, right? To work for yourself. So my mom and dad ventured out and opened their own restaurant in Concord, in Deep East Bay. And on my summers, I didn't go to camp. We couldn't afford a babysitter, so guess what? I was in the kitchen. But I actually really, really enjoyed it. It was very stimulating. I was smelling food, eating, I love food. Also like cooking, you know? Getting playing with sharp objects and fire. You know, like what more can a 10 year old want at that age, you know? But it's way better than doing homework. <laughs> I knew what I wanted to do at a very young age. So I went to culinary school after high school and then working in like a lot of fine restaurants in the San Francisco Bay Area and then got a chance to go to Europe for a year and follow my mom's footsteps and like opening my own restaurant. So we did that in 2009. Kind of rest is history. I think what drives James as a chef and a restaurateur is that deep down he's always perceives himself as a komi, which is a French word for apprentice, uh, by which he named his first restaurant. Because even though he has mastered cooking and he's produced really great food, there is always more to learn and that he would always be a komi at heart. James is a doer. James is not much of a talker and he doesn't really have a lot of patience for talkers. He surrounds himself with doers. He's got three very busy restaurants that he cares about equally and wants to see them all succeed. To keep them all running as well as he does in, in just 24 hours a day is pretty amazing. James constantly reminds our children that nothing is ever free and everything comes with hard work and he really wants to hone that into them. The funny thing is that at one point in time, he's actually had my daughter saying yes chef to everything he said. His biggest challenge in life is not really cooking, it's how to get through to his kids, how to make them listen to him, and how to make them respond immediately. When I was growing up, I didn't have any real Asian American role models something I can look up to. So when I actually talk to you about how do I get through society? You know, how do I navigate? Now it's like, wow, I can make an impact on children and say, hey, it's okay to be a cook. You know, you can do great things cooking. Be proud of being Asian American, you know? The smell of fish sauce is fantastic. You know, and kimchi is fantastic. It's all delicious. You know, take it to school, share it. It's like, hey, you know, it's okay to be different. It's okay to be you.